If we talk about transfers and football these days, we have to admit that the biggest clubs with the biggest pockets filled with money are dominating the world of football right now. Specifically, Manchester City going ahead and possibly going after the Premier League and the Champions League title this season. But there are clubs like Athletic Bilbao who are restricting themselves to their own region only. Only players from their own region are allowed to play for this club and somehow, despite not having a massive pool of players, they are constantly in there. You're goddamn right. Competing at the highest level in Spain. Athletic Bilbao, I bow down to you. You are doing an incredible job and for that reason, today we're gonna rebuild them and we're only gonna be doing it with Youth Academy. Wish me luck. What if I don't want to? Before we do anything though, let's realize that this club, despite the way they're restricting themselves, are currently in the seventh position in La Liga with 46 points, four wins out of their last five, and possibly chasing down the likes of Real Betis for that fifth position. That is some incredible work being done over there at Bilbao. But today, Obviously, it's important for us to realize what this team is going to be lacking in the future since we have no chances of making transfers despite there being a couple of players in world football that we could actually bring in. I believe Griezmann, his like grand blah, blah, blah was from the region, so he's kind of capable of playing here. But I think we need to stick to the Youth Academy only. So we need to realize, okay, so Inyaki Williams, obviously a big player for this club. He's 28. Up until 32, he can probably play for this club. So that means in about four years, I need to have an amazing youth academy striker come through and play in his position. So what we're going to be doing is identifying these spots that we need to fill in the future. Go ahead and start scouting for those areas. Bring the players in. Loan them out to some different countries out there. Let them get some play time. Grow into players that can actually fit into this squad and then go after all the titles while players like Sunset and also Williams are going to be still here doing bits for us. So I'm hoping that we see a lot of these players in here by the end of this video. Obviously, there are three that we probably will be focusing on the most. Williams, Sunset and Unai Simon. He's only 25, so we can get a solid seven to eight years out of him. I do doubt, though, that by the time these Youth Academy talents are good enough, that someone like Simon is still going to be here. But the good thing is we have Aguirre Zabala, who we can loan out, and he is a greatly talented player as well. So the Bilbao adventure starts right now. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of a club like this, restricting themselves massively and still being as successful as they have been. I mean, it's an incredible story. So starting off our journey at Athletic Bilbao, I decided to go ahead and bank on the old ones in the first season. Even players like Raul Garcia, who are now 36 years old, or Herrera, who are 33. These players are still in the starting 11 due to me wanting to go ahead and grow the players away from the club. I also swapped to a three at the back formation because the club itself doesn't necessarily have too many great fullbacks coming in through the youth system so i decided to go for center backs makes it much easier to scout as well talking about scouting though my friends we have found a couple of talents straight away i have three scouts yes three of them scouting in spain and we are going to be going for obviously players from spain only and of course we'll kind of have to pretend like all of them are from the same region which is allowed at Bilbao, because why would we look anywhere else? Obviously, I can't look for Bilbao only. So the Basque region, I think it is called. So I can't do that in game, but let's just go ahead and pretend that. Oscar Sanchez right here looks like a really great talent. Same goes for Gallardo. And then we have Costa here with the 62. I like that. And Castillo with the 62 as well. So a couple of these players for sure are going to be making it. I am looking for Defender midfielder and attacker with three scouts at the moment. If I find anything insane, you'll hear about it. Half a season later, this is what we have available to us as things stand. I have scouted for months upon months and we have found a couple of top talents. Castillo being the highest rated one, but not that high in terms of potential 
which is okay. We can grow these players anyways. And of course, some of these guys might be in the wrong position as well. I haven't necessarily checked exactly their right positions yet, but these are the ones that we have available to us as things stand, guys. And the team has, of course, a couple of players out on loan. And you can see some of them are doing a great job away from the club, which is lovely to see. So the first season with Bilbao is now done and the team has shown exactly what they are about. Sixth position in La Liga, Getafe above us, which really surprises me, Sevilla, Atletico Madrid, Real, and then Barca to win the title. This once again showcases the strength of the team at this moment in time, finishing that high in the league table, pretty much online with what has been happening in real life. Garcia dropped down to a 76, Inaki Williams up to an 82, Iker Muniain up to an 85 as a 30-year-old, probably one or two good seasons in him. Herrera is going to be useless next season. Nico Williams up to an 80. I think his name is Nico, right? Or am I mixing it up with the guy from Liverpool? Sunset 82, Berenguer 81. Martinez is 82, Yerai 82, Vivian 81, and Simon, obviously an amazing player. But also very important for us to check out our players away from home. We have a bunch of players out on loan. You can immediately tell that they are doing a great job here. Vencedor is going to come in for Herrera next season. And uh, Imanol, uh, what is his name again? Imanol Garcia de Albeniz, I think his name is. I know him from Sorare. A decently talented player playing for Eibar, who are currently fighting for promotion into La Liga. And uh, then you have Serrano, very well, 73 rated. Villa Libre could be an option to replace Garcia for now. Aguirre Zabala is out on loan. Zaraga could come back, but then again, I don't see a point in it yet. So uh, one of the centre midfielders is going to come back. Unai Nunez, great season at Celta Vigo right now in real life, 80 rated, is going to come back into our team and could actually be a really good addition since Inigo Martinez is old. So that is the first season in terms of growth. And that, my friends, is the top scorer. 20 and 8 for Raul Garcia. Congratulations to him. Probably his last season over here. No, it isn't. He still has another year going. Iñaki with 21 goal contributions. Munyain did well. And Williams, where are you at, pal? Did you not play the games? Hold up a second. Where the hell is Williams? 25 games, zero goal contributions. What the hell? Finally, a bit of progress, my friends. A fifth position for Athletic Bilbao. Ever so slowly climbing up and 14 points off Atletico Madrid. As I'm talking, by the way, Girona beat Real Madrid 4-2. What the hell? Anyways, let's go ahead and dive in here into how our team is looking. Obviously, so far, still no one has made it into the team, as you can tell from the Youth Academy, and it wasn't needed. Athletic Bilbao is capable of holding their own, but Muniain now being 32 years old, Iñaki Williams being 30 years old, now the time comes where some of these youngsters will have to come through. And Zaraga is up to an 81, so he's ready to step in when Muniain is done. The thing is, Zaraga is 26 as well, so possibly like six good seasons out of him left. And you can see Aguirre up to a 76, Castillo, a youngster from the Youth Academy up to a 76, and Diaz up to a 77 as well. But those are not the only ones. We have a couple more. Take a look at this. So... In terms of loaned out players right now, there are two that you didn't see yet. Ramon Martinez, a striker I have found in the Youth Academy. I sent all three scouts out to look for strikers because both of our strikers are not necessarily the youngest. So Martinez has come in, loaned out to Nottingham Forest, 73 rated now. Herrera came in as well, 77 now. Palacios has gone up to 71, Costa 75. Martinez has grown nicely. And then Fuentes as well. You can just tell we have a bunch of beasts there out on loan. Nico Serrano, 79. And then Rodriguez as well. But there should be one more striker. Have I missed it? I wanted to showcase you guys two strikers. Oh, this guy, Ortiz. Francisco Ortiz, 70 rated now. Out on loan at Watford. So these guys can be coming in later on if the regulars from now can't actually pull off what we need them to do, which is obviously the league title and the Champions League run. Inaki, 23-7, and Guruzeta, 19-6, and then, of course, Nico Williams finally stepping up. This 
was a good season. Very, very good. Oh, what a season it has been. Our team has won the Europa League, guys. Incredible success for Athletic Bilbao. No transfers from the outside, only building upon what we have available. Semi-finals, we did play against... Why did it swap over to Champions League? Semi-finals, we played against Gladbach, but have beaten them with two goals initially and lost 1-0. That put us in there. Quarterfinals against Porto and in La Liga. Would you believe it? It's a double season. Athletic Bilbao with 82 points at the top. Incredible things. It's a roller coaster of teams going up and down in La Liga right now. And Guru Zeta has gone up to an 87. Iñaki Williams, 90. Iker Munya in 89. Vencedor and Sunset looking ready. Williams 88, Berenguer 87, Nunez, Yeray, and Vivian looking good. Simon 91. Honestly, it might just come to a point where the youth academy players don't even have an impact on what we do right here. But you can tell these guys are ready. We are getting a bunch of these players into the team right now, which I'm really happy with. Serrano should be in there. Other players like Costa could be useful. Arias could be useful for this, uh, the midfielders for us. Fuentes, another winger, and generally speaking, they are prepared to help us in Champions League football coming up next. Performance-wise, Guruzeta, 41 goal contributions. No wonder he's growing so much. And then the Williams brothers with the second and third place in the team. Development-wise, we can check it out here one more time. The only loaned out players are these ones right here. Where are my strikers? The backup strikers. Oh, they're still loaned out. So Ortiz is up to a 73. Martinez is up to a 77. Great stuff. But hey, looks like we might not even need these lads, which is crazy to me. By the way, as things stand, this is our secondary team, so to say. Villalible, Artola up top, Diaz at Cam, Herrera left wing. We have Prados and Zaraga in midfield. Serrano on the right-hand side. Martinez, Nolaskain, and... Sanchez in defense along with Aguirre Zabala so you can clearly tell we are growing these players nicely. The season is done and we are not in the Champions League final sadly my friends but we are establishing ourselves at the top of La Liga Santander. 89 points on Athletic Bilbao and that is a great achievement for us as our team now gets older and older some of the youngsters need to come through, but I am impressed with Guruzeta. 77 pace, 30 years old. Oh, God. Williams is an 88 rated player now, 32 years old. Munyain is 34, still holding on to that 88. I don't know how he does it, but this team is Champions League final ready. It really is, so it's a shame. It didn't make it there, but maybe... It's just waiting for the youngsters to come through. Now, when it comes to the youngsters, that is the reserves team. You can clearly tell that there are a couple of really good players in there. But the big question is, are those strikers ready? Because they should be back. Yes, they are. Ortiz is back. 75 rated right now. But this one, Ramon Martinez, is looking ready for the team. I like this. I really, really do. I cannot wait to see what we can achieve with these guys moving forward. Next season still could be the one, but Inaki Williams going down is not a good sign. Guruzeta maybe has like two more years in him. It's tough. It's really hard to do. But hopefully I can pull this off somewhat because I never use the Youth Academy while my starting 11 is already this good and me constantly loaning them out and all that stuff. It's hard to do, but... It's a different task, and I really like it. All right, so Bayer Leverkusen has been beat, and then it's Dortmund. It's a 2-0 victory against them now. I have already replaced Iker Munyain in the team with Sunset. And the big question is if Iñaki Williams is dropping down enough for one of the Youth Academy strikers to come in. As we dive into a Champions League final, it is done. So... Building up this team with the Youth Academy, bringing in the future that way and making sure that we have replacements whenever needed has worked out. Now, not many have de have made it into the starting 11. Actually, none of them have. But Inaki Williams is an 86. What is Martinez's rating? Where is he? He's an 86 too. And you know what, Inaki, I love you. But 
I'm going to put you onto the bench. I at least want to have one of the Youth Academy players step up here and do it. He is going to be playing alongside Guruzeta with the horrible pace, but hopefully he can be the target man type of player for us. Martinez, 94 pace. That is lovely. Sunset has come into the starting eleven with the 93. Zaraga and Vencedor are going to be playing centre mid as planned. Berenguer has gone down in his stats, which is quite interesting to see. So let's bring in another youngster from the youth academy this guy is gonna do better for me i reckon this guy i mean berenguer does have good stats but then again youth academy for the win right and then nico williams on the right hand side 93 rated vivian 91 yet i 89 nunez 89 yet i now one of the older ones as well surprised he hasn't gone down unai simon 94 rated and the bench I want to fill up with a lot of the Youth Academy players specifically. So Martinez definitely will make it onto it. Then going down, Castillo looks very good. He's 82 rated. So let's put him in there instead of Berenguer. Terano is a better option anyways. And then Arias could be a really good center midfield type substitution for us if necessary. And apart from that, I think Fuentes and Costa look good. Anyone else that I should include? I think I'm going to go... I think I'm going to go Fuentes here and put him in as a substitute for the wingback positions, even though we don't have a wingback position. I mean, the left midfield, right midfield positions, I guess. But that is an interesting team, a very, very fun lineup for us to use in this Champions League final. Goro set up 45 and 4. Wow. Iñaki, 33 and 2. Nico Williams, 24 and 10. Man, this Guruzeta, his stats look awful, but I cannot wait to use him. I'm actually really looking forward to this. And now it is a matchup against uh, Manchester City in the Champions League. But in the league, have we done it again? Athletic Bilbao has done it once more. See, no transfers needed. Only use the Youth Academy to bring in whatever we needed. And in the final season, it's hopefully going to pay off. So... It is a match against Manchester City, as I mentioned. And we have Foden, Haaland, Palmer, Pedri, Fiorini, Rice, Diaz, Fofana, Cabore, Davies, Ederson. Okay, I am so ready for this one right here. Had a good night of sleep and now, guys, prepared for this matchup. Also, can't wait to have a fresh haircut in a bit. You look stupid. Guys, I'm done having this terrible, terrible trim. Anyways... We are moving forward here. Man City, let's see what you got. Athletic Bilbao, no transfers, Youth Academy only. And funnily enough, a lot of players have grown really nicely, which I did not expect. But as you guys might know from my Leicester City career mode, which had its series finale just now, I am struggling big time against Manchester City in general. Here goes Herrera. This is one of the Youth Academy talents. Sprinting forward, passing the ball inside to another one of the Youth Academy talents who tries to lob the keeper. Great start for the lads. You know what I just realized? I really like the fact that the left midfielder from the Youth Academy has the name of Herrera. Obviously, Herrera that was here when we came in uh, was uh, an original of the squad, so he was allowed to play. So that's kind of cool. And then up top, the striker that we have has the same name or as Inigo Martinez. Our striker is named Martinez too. So really good stuff there. These guys actually do fit in as Martinez gets another chance. I'm obviously trying to focus on these Youth Academy lads, but come on, buddy. Gotta be doing better now. Oriente, great transfer for City there. Oh, that's mine. Herrera, the left midfielder, has picked up the ball and is sprinting down the right-hand side. Back over to Nico Williams. Nico Williams back into Herrera. Yo, this Herrera kid is good, huh? Nico Williams, Herrera, left foot. Ooh, he did lob the keeper from that far out for sure, but it sadly didn't go on target. Okay, the fake throwing got me there. Haaland getting stopped with immediate effect. Herrera once more. In the center, Sunset. One of the greatest talents of Bilbao for sure. Herrera finds the ball into Martinez. Gorosetta, his first chance. Henderson, always unbeatable. Herrera's cross to Guruzeta. That could be one. No, it isn't. Lovely little pressure moment. Martinez. Nico Williams inside. Lovely football. Martinez! Yes! 
get in! We might not have created too many incredible talents at this point of our career mode. If we went further into the future, we surely would have. But this team has two of them in the starting 11. And one of them has just scored in the Champions League final after a great passing play that not even Manchester City could follow. Martinez, thank you for that finish. Ederson, thank you for being out of position. For the second half now, I'm going to make some changes. I'm going to bring on Diaz. Yes, this center attacking midfielder who was 84 rated, he's going to get his playtime. Sunset drops into center midfield because I haven't seen anything off of him in that first half. Ah, I missed that tackle. Pedri, what the hell? They have Pedri too? Don't you have enough talents? Martinez, Cruzeta. Martinez, sprinting through. Go on then, son. Yes, he does it again. Guruzeta, I believe, gets an assist, if I'm not mistaken. It's the Youth Academy kid once more. Athletic Bilbao manages to bring through the youth one ag once again. And, guys, he is a good finisher now. In the first half, he had a couple of chances where he didn't score. But now, Manchester City completely open at the back straight after halftime throwing all their plans into the bin. They have to go all in moving forward, which should give us even more space to work into. Ooh. Okay. Um, that was nice. <laughs> that was really nice. Pedri scores for Manchester City. A great step over, a move past the defender, and a power shot on top of it. Cannot say anything to that one. That's a solid goal. Guruzeta, I'm looking for you. I'm looking for you specifically, but I can't find you. That's mine, though. Into Guruzeta. Pass. Shot. Saved. Lovely steal. Now, Nico Williams. Guruzeta. Martinez. Martinez getting close enough once again. I just wanted to make sure we win this game. Nico Williams for Guru Zeta and now he gets his piece too it might go through as an own goal it doesn't matter that man has been the biggest surprise 100% I never thought he would actually become an important part of this team but he very much has and he's shown his worth in a Champions League final Nico Williams gets himself the assist Guru Zeta coming up against two and Heading it onto the chest of the man on the line. He's not doing his job well, is he? Wait, they bought back Sané? What the hell? They actually did. That's impressive. Yes, Guruzeta, show me strength. There goes Herrera. He wants a piece. Herrera, go on. Go on, Herrera. Oh, man, that is so unfortunate. I really wanted him to get one, but it's done. Athletic Bilbao are the best club in world football. It is now confirmed. Honestly, I personally love these types of clubs that have some sort of story to themselves and some sort of principles that they are going after. This is now Yerai getting to lift the trophy. And if I'm not mistaken, he was the guy who actually had cancer and came back and played football again. If it isn't him, whoever it was from the Bilbao team, huge shout out to him for being such a warrior. Guys, this team has done it. And at the end of the day, the Youth Academy talents that came through actually made the biggest difference. Thank you so much for watching this. I enjoyed myself a lot and I hope you did too. I'll catch you on the next one. Take care and peace.